Today we assemble a 58 inch barn door TV stand with side doors in the barnwood color. This is manufactured by Walker Edison, purchased from walmart.com. It's got two hinged doors on this TV stand that should accommodate up to about 65 inch TV. So let's get into this and get this thing assembled. Okay, those are all our pieces. Here's a quick look at the instruction book. We're gonna need some glue, which should be in that hardware box. We'll take a look. We'll need a Phillips head screwdriver, which we'll grab from the garage real quick. And that should be it. The first two pieces we'll work with are one and two. One is this one, and two is this one. Let's take a look at our hardware kit. First off, we're going to grab four of these wooden dowels, part A. These are going to go into part number two. They're going to go there and there. Grab some of that glue from the hardware kit. And the wood dowel goes right in. Same on the other end. Next up is 10 of part B, the cam bolts. So here's part number one. We're looking for the holes that are smaller. That's where the cam bolts go. So we're gonna look for all the small holes going around for all 10 of these cam bolts on part one and on part two. On part two, you see a small hole, a couple of small holes there in the middle for the cam bolts, that's where they go. Next, we're gonna find two of part eight and we're gonna put some more cam bolts in them. Four more of part B cam bolts. Now we want parts nine, 10, and 19 and we're going to put wood dowels in them should be 15 wood dowels. So on part 19, there is one side that has four holes. The other side has seven holes, some big, some small. We want this side with seven holes. The bigger holes are for the dowels. One, two, three, three wood dowels.
Next we have parts 9 and 10. Okay, I gotta point something out right now to help you out. You can see I'm farther along in the assembly, uh, but I gotta show you this because I didn't learn this until this part of the assembly, and that is step 14. Okay, I want you to turn to step 14 if you have the instructions. But what step 14 is, is the installation of this part P along with screws Q and pre-install these right now. Okay, get piece 10, get piece nine, get part P and get the screws Q and put those in right now. And what you're looking for is uh, you're gonna have a one hole, in, uh, kind of a large hole in the corner down here. Okay, you've got three holes coming up and then you've got two large holes there and they're gonna be two very small holes. Right now, before you do anything else, put that on there and just leave it there during the rest of the assembly. You'll be glad you did. That's over here on part nine also. That's part nine, same thing. You've got one large hole at the bottom, come up, three small holes, come up, two larger holes, and then go ahead and install P right there with those two screws, Q. And on these ones, we're going around the edges and the larger holes are for the wood dowels. Two, four, six, and same on number nine. Next, we're looking for parts three, four, five, six, and seven. Those are the legs and the two end pieces. So there are two number sevens. We need eight more wood dowels. Now let's trade for the leg posts. Still on the leg posts, I want to turn these up so you can see the holes on top. We've got three cam bolts for each leg post. There's two on one side, and then you'll turn it, and there'll be another one there. Now turn the leg post to one side or the other. Either one right turn or one left turn, and you should find a small hole on that side for another cam bolt. Do that with each of the leg posts. Next, we're going for parts three, five, and seven. That's two leg posts and one of those end pieces, and we're going to put them together. Okay, and the way you want to do this part is you want, you want post number three on your left. And you want to point 
the wood dowel up and these cam bolts towards the other leg post. That leg post is number five. Wood peg, uh, wood dowel going up and turn it so that those two cam bolts are facing this way. Then you get number seven, the end piece, and you want the side with all the holes on it. And this is going to assemble right into there. Let's do a double check on that real quick. This is piece number seven. You have all the holes on this side. You should have two of the larger holes on this end. So that is two, two large holes here, two large holes here. Towards the bottom of seven, you should have one large hole for a cam lock here, and then you should have a smaller hole there where a cam bolt is gonna go in, in later, okay? So check out that direction. Uh, I had seven flipped around before, so fixed now. Take a look at that, make sure we got it out of the right direction. Once those are in, you want to grab some of the cam locks. Part number C. And those are going to go into the big holes here. Phillips screwdriver to tighten it up. That's where it goes. Basically the same thing now for parts four, six, and seven. So here's six, we're gonna stand six up on our left side, four goes up on our right side, and seven comes down the middle with the holes facing us. A little glue where those wood dowels are gonna go. Four more cam locks, part C. Go ahead and set those pieces aside and make some room for parts two, 19, and 13. Okay, so the big one is number two. 19 is the long one, and 13. So let's start with 19. 19 is gonna go along the back side, and you can see where the wood dowels line up. And from this bag and the hardware kit, we're gonna get the screws that are part U. These are the ones you can use the Phillips head screwdriver on. They're a little bit thinner than the other screws in here, and those ones use the Allen wrench. So that's how you know you get the right one. And these are gonna go through these holes on part 19 on top. I was just a little surprised. You do, you do have to push a little harder than I would've thought to get those screws to go in. Next, let's put on part 13, the side with the two holes. Go right over these cam bolts. Get a couple of Part C cam locks. Next up, we have two of part number eight and also parts nine and 10. Okay, so the way you wanna do this one is you've got part number 10 here, wood dowels on top, right, and bottom. You've got part number eight, and you want these cam bolts 
closer to the top here. So not, not this way, this way. That's the way they go together. Oh, and in part number eight here, you can put a little bit of glue where the wood dowels from part 10 are gonna come in. And you know those are together the right way because on part number 10, these pieces should be flush. Eight on the side, 10 here. These should be flush on the side where you're gonna put the cam locks, which is our next step. Two of the cam locks, part number C. Those go right on top. Okay, basically the same thing with part eight and nine. We'll start with eight, little glue in the holes. Nine with the holes on top, wood dowels out to the right. Part eight comes in with the cam bolts higher up. those together and they're flush going to, to the end. A couple of cam locks. Now those pieces 9 and 10 that we just put together, we're going to use those and assemble those into piece number 2. This step is just a little more tricky. You can do it with just one person, but a second person might be helpful. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna stand up piece number two. You've got this uh, piece number 13 sticking out on this side. We're gonna turn it around. And this is piece 19 coming off the edge here. So we want that on top. Okay, we want that going up, not towards the ground. And with, in that direction, we're gonna take number nine. And where that has the raised piece, that raised piece goes up. Our wood dowels from nine are gonna go into these two holes on two. So that's in there. And now we need screw number D. So from this hardware packet, we'll take screw part D and the Allen wrench that comes with it. And now we're on the back side here. Same thing with piece number 10. We'll start with glue on the two inside holes. Number 10 with the raised part on top. And make sure that raised part on top faces that way. Slide that into position. Another screw part U on the back side. Next, we have the two end pieces to put on. So those are the parts number seven with the leg posts. Leg posts four and six come here on this left side. Leg posts three and five come on this side. So you see how that's going to line up? Seven, five with the groove matches the groove here. That's how you know it's the right direction. Same on the other side. And this piece slides in here. We'll take a closer look at where we need to put some 
uh, glue, and then we'll have some cam bolts and cam locks. Right, so here on part seven, wood dowels from the other piece are gonna come in here so we can put a little glue. Okay, we'll stand this up. Wood dowel is gonna line up in the hole there and there. And the cam bolts, cam bolt in the hole there, and another one down there. Cam locks are gonna be on the back side. And same thing now on this side. This piece number seven is backwards. So let's take that apart and flip it around. We'll get some fresh glue. Put in some fresh glue here and slide that in. The cam locks on the back. Okay, let's go ahead and stand this up. We'll put the groove towards the back. So that's looking at it as if, you know, imagine it being assembled. That would be, this would be the front of the unit and this would be the back. So that groove down here, that groove is in the back and we're gonna slide in those back panels now. Two of 14 and one of 17. Whether you want it this way or this way, anyway, it doesn't matter. The 14 goes on the outsides, and 17 is your middle piece. Next is piece number one, the top. Part number one here has a groove. The groove is gonna to be to the back of the TV console. And before we put that on, We'll go ahead and put some glue in two, four, six, eight holes where the wood dowels uh, are going to go in. And to the front goes the brace hardware here. All the cam bolts are going to line up in the holes. So now we use the rest of our cam locks to secure the top. There's going to be two here, two here, two here, two here.
Okay, so I had just a little trouble getting the top to go down enough right here. So you might need a second hand or just work on it a little bit. And also, maybe if the first uh, the first ones are a little too tight, you know, you've, you've tightened up these cam locks and this, this side is on really tight, uh, that might not give you the wiggle room that you need to kind of get those in to go more. So I'm, uh, I've loosened these up just a little bit and I'm going to use two hands here and see if I can get these to sink in a little more. And only once they sink in, then I'll put the cam locks on. And yeah, sure enough, all I need is a good push on top. I just can't quite get the angle while I have the camera in my hand, but just give it a, a push on top while you put those cam locks in on the inside and you should get it just fine. Okay, moving on over here. Okay, we're getting there. So next step is to put on the plastic wedges on the back of the console, if you want. Uh, my preference is actually not to use those. Um, I just don't like the extra pieces and the extra time it takes to put those on the back. I'm okay with my cords just kind of hanging around. So I'm not gonna put them on, but I'll, I'll kind of show you how it works. And if you wanna do it on yours, you can. KNL here, the plastic wedges and the screws. So we come around to the back of the console and you can pretty much put them on however you want, but the manufacturer has it in the instruction manual as having these wedge pieces in the corners of each panel. So top left, top right, bottom right, bottom left. The wedged part goes towards the outside. That way you can put your cord in here and as your cord gets wound up, it's got those wedges on the outsides for it to grab onto. Four on each panel to hold your cords in the back if you want. If you want to do that, uh, you grab the wedge pieces and a screw. Screw goes in like that comes out the back that way. And then your screw goes into the panel and you would just screw it in at an angle like that. So I know my fingers are kind of in the way, but hopefully you can kind of see how that would work. Okay. Okay, let's go on to the next step. Okay, up next we're putting on some hardware on the inside. We're going to use parts P and Q. Okay, our next step is to put some stickers on. It's optional, but if you wanna cover up the cam locks on the inside, go ahead and grab the stickers and put them all over the inside. So anywhere, anywhere there's a cam lock, you can throw, this, throw a sticker over it.
Okay, next up is part J. These are the shelf supports. You can put them in at whatever height you want your shelf at. But these are going in where you see three holes. Choose one, whether you want your shelf in the low, medium, or high position, and then just match it with another shelf support on the other side. Okay, now the shelves go in. Those are pieces 15, 16, and 18. First 15 goes on the left. You can see the notches. The notches are going to line up with those shelf supports that you just put in. And you can see that the you've got holes or uh, cutouts on these corners, but not these. The cutouts are gonna go towards the edge of the console. Sixteen on the right side with the notches to the right. And eighteen in the middle. You'll notice that one edge here is finished. The other edge is not finished. So choose the finished edge to face out. Next we're going to work on our doors. We're going to attach the hinges first. That's part E and we're gonna use screws F. So let's get E and F and the doors. Here we go with hinges and screws. Okay, we'll start with part number 11 here. We're gonna turn it to where you have the diagonal barn door piece there. You've got holes for the handle on that side. We're gonna work here on this side with these small holes. We got three small holes there, three more there. All right, so you wanna open the hinge up before you put the screws in. Okay, next comes the handles, part G, and screws H. Your handle is going to go on this side. We're also going to put on screws M. Those are the short gold ones we pulled out before. That's where the M screw goes. Same on the other door. Okay, so it's time to put these doors up. We're gonna put door number 11 on the left and door number 12 on the right. And there it is, that's done.